Hi folks, hope you're doing well. Uh, video in a continuation with the last one. So, okay, when you're lost, yes, okay. Well, first thing is, you can't go back. If what was before has been basically destroyed, you can't go back. Because you can't return to something that isn't even there now. And for many people, they're in a situation like that where, you know, a relationship has exploded or, you know, something has happened in their life that's just left them completely lost. Well, you can't go back. Going back is not an option. If you go back, you're only going to end up with another explosion that's going to leave you in exactly the same situation as you are right now. The only thing you can do is go forward. And if you can't go forward, what you need to do is just, okay, sit. There was a book by a chap, chap called Watchman Nee, I think, called uh, Sit, Stand, Walk. Well, you know, if you're lost, maybe you're not able to walk right now. Maybe the devastation of what's happened is making you unable to walk at this moment in time well if that's the case then sit or stand but if you're standing eventually you have to sit or walk because you can't stand forever so you have to sit or walk so yeah why not just sit if that's what you need to do then do that and if you're in that situation yeah yeah if feeling sorry for yourself helps then do so but it's pretty much a guarantee feeling sorry for yourself is not going to help not in any way shape or form it's not going to change anything is it it's not going to light your path in a better way all it's going to do is make you think that uh, yeah that you deserve more than what you got well you don't that's the point yeah our minds will tell us that we do the world will tell us sometimes that we do if we've been unfairly dealt with, the world will tell us that we deserve better, but we don't. Because nobody deserves anything at all. I mean, do people deserve bad things to happen to them? No. So why would people deserve good things to happen to them? You are where you are, okay. Yeah, accept that. Yeah. Look around, take notice of where you are. And say, if you need to sit, sit. If you can walk, then walk. But you have to go forward. And the problem is, the reason why sitting can sometimes be useful is because even understanding what is north, what is south, what is east, what is west can be very, very difficult when you're lost. But especially nowadays, we don't use the stars anymore, do we? And certainly, if the weather is like it is in this video, bright daytime, there are no stars, so you can't really use them to guide your way. So let's say you can use the stars. You need to sit maybe until it's night time so that you can actually tell where, where is north and where is south and where is east and where is west. But again, if you don't even know where you are, maybe acknowledging where you are first or finding out where you are first is the key point because, yeah. <laughs> and again, that's all down to God. If we're talking about it from a spiritual point of view, yeah, as I say, I have no idea what what my future is supposed to look like now. I have no idea. So therefore, you know, trying to walk in faith according to A belief and a knowledge of what my future is supposed to be I can't do that 
I can't do that. So until I have something there that I can aim for, then, okay. Well, as I say, wait, wait. it comes down to it that God loves you. God wants the best for you. You don't necessarily understand his ways and his, you know, the way, yeah. Um, but you have no choice but to trust him because there's nowhere else you can go. So therefore, okay, that means you're trusting God and you just have to wait until he provides you with what you need. And so, yeah, that's why, as I say, it's important that if you need to just sit, then just sit. Yeah, resting might be a good thing. Yeah, you might need to rest. If you've been through it, if you've been through a battle and you know you need to rest then that's what you need to do yeah well there's um there's a person on youtube who puts little shorts up or a little um i don't even know what what, it, what it's called actually um if i can find that let you know boom, 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 boom. He did one yesterday, at some point yesterday, 16 hours ago, uh, busy for the Lord. And his comment was, I know it. And the picture is, that's what he puts up, just pictures and comments to it. Um, sometimes God calms the storm. Sometimes he lets the storm rage and calms his child. So, if you're in that situation where the storm has raged, and you've been buffeted and beaten and buffeted and beaten then maybe you just need to recover or rest or heal whatever that may be allow that to happen so if you're in that sort of situation allow yourself time to heal to recover to rest To regain whatever it is you lost. Yeah. So you can walk again. And then when it's time to walk. Walk. See it's quite likely that. I mean in my situation. And in other people's situations. It's quite likely the things that we had in the past. That. You yeah, have now been destroyed. That some of those things weren't right. Or there may just be tiny things about them, tiny details that weren't right. But any tiny detail that's slightly wrong can lead you down a bad path, can lead you in the wrong direction. And so therefore, if God has destroyed that, so he can rebuild it, but we'll build, rebuild it right, then you're going to be walking in something far, far better in the future than what you were in the past. And, you know, what you could be aiming for in the future could be far, far higher than what you were aiming for in the past. I ended the last one just by saying, yeah, okay, uh, a lot of people in church would say what I was aiming for is way too high. And it looks as if God has agreed, but actually maybe God hasn't agreed. Maybe God is just saying there was tiny details about it that weren't quite right and it needed to be collapsed and then done properly. And then what I'll be aiming for in the future is far, far higher than what I was aiming for in the past. Maybe that's the case. Maybe it isn't, but maybe it is. Yeah. Put it this way. Um, as I've said before, I don't believe that we can aim too high. I don't. I don't believe that the things we can aim for can ever really be too high. Not for God. For us, maybe. Maybe we're trying to you know, force our faith to see something that it can't quite see. 
and maybe there's work that needs to be done for us to be able to really see that and really be able to walk in it. Yeah, because we are still learning and we can make mistakes and our mistakes can be things that yeah, mean that we need a complete collapse in order to rebuild and rebuild properly. And if that's the case, then you know, just let God deal with it. Because what he builds doesn't fail. What we build do does fail. Let him build. Yeah. Hopefully this helps in some way. So there you go. Yeah. Have a fantastic week. Take care. God bless. I'll speak to you soon. Enjoy. Bye-bye.